Stranská skála. It's a crag right in my hometown of Brno. And I used to go here quite often either with my dad or Martin Stranink and there's lots of nice memories and I would like to reclimb some of the routes and boulders that I have done in the past. And also I know about one project that interests me a lot. There are many routes, boulders, variations, eliminations here in Stranska Skala. We are pretty much right in the town of Brno and people have been climbing here for many, many years, maybe like 60 years. Before the times of climbing gyms, this cave was used as a training facilities. Well, it may not be that difficult just to climb your way up through the good holes in the cave, but you can really figure out your own elimination. Just like in a climbing gym, you can only use this hold, you can only use this hold, or you can only use this hold, or you can just try to climb it without your feet to campus through the boulder problems and stuff like that. I used to go here quite often with Martin Stranik as well uh, after school because you can take a tram here and it's a short hike. Uh, and we used to try this boulder problem without the feet and back then I couldn't do it. This is a sit-start variation to absolute classic wall problem. Zubin active from 10th start. I think it's about 7A. And the sit-start is a 8A. And it's about crimping these tiny two crimps. Only recently it got repeated for the first time. I think it was first ascended in 2009. I'm quite surprised that I'm not feeling that bad after one month of speed climbing and lifting the weights in the gym. Even the finger power is, is okay. Když bude zbouznovat taky, to nechápu. Asi v desíti letech. This one was quite surprising for me. Uh, I think I did it when I was like 10 years old, without any pad, just solo. Um, I was quite bold, that's for sure. <laughs> I was a little scared even having a nice crash pad underneath. Here, in between a crack called a super crack, which shares the same name as the famous super crack in the Indian Creek in Utah in the USA, and the left hand side the red, there is a seemingly totally blank wall. But there are some tiny features. Somebody put old bolt many many years ago, I don't even know who, but it is left unclimbed. 11 years ago, I think I tried it briefly on the top rope, I checked out the moves, I thought it would be possible, but it never returned. So here I am today and let's see how it goes. With the use of the modern crash pads, I think it's totally possible to do it as a bowler problem.
I think I tried it once on the top rope, like 2008. I think I could do the moves, but never really returned. Even though I think, especially as a ball problem, it's like a really, really nice line. It's unfortunate that you can't really top it out because the very top is like extremely crumbly and would be dangerous to fall from the top. Like even if you bolt it and you would climb it with the rope, it would be really, really dangerous because Breaking the big blocks on the top and throwing it down to the belayer would be dangerous. Pretty happy it's done. <laughs> it's kind of like it all revolves about this like first crimp, which is like really tiny. You have to like crimp it like pretty high and then get this heinous pinch, just try to use your thumb as, as much as possible and throw your left foot like pretty high on this mirror and none of the points that you're holding with the rock can't slip. So it happened a few times but then it worked out. So nice to finally climb on the rear rock and crimp hard. It was great to be in the fresh air and feel the rock underneath my fingertips. So cool.